Oh no. Owl. You tell me. Owl. Uh... What the hell? You're just in time to experience my real power. Watch this. Even Parthox will have trouble defeating me now. Uh, sure. Okay. I'd do anything. I'm innocent. Your scalp has changed. Feels the same as it always been. Alright, I need to buy potions. It's getting worse. I mean, to be fair, I have been warning people it's going to happen eventually. I would have done it last year, except the oh. pandemic, and I didn't want to go out still unnecessarily. Up. Entire world. What do you mean, wise? Uh, give me one second. Ow. I need to use the restroom. I will be right back. <laughs> you <laughs> laugh. Close combat, area attacks, burns, range attacks, okay. summons, and flying monsters, That's which can fine. be hurt by traps. Look out for your gold. How'd you get up there so quickly? That's not fair. Hmm. Alright, that spells a different object. I need more AP items. You have feeding some of. Oh, Vic here's minions, uh, but he can... Sign. Can there he keep go. up the winning streak? Let's find out what the battle begin. Ah, okay. Here we go. I, I was on it! Damn it. Whatever. How's your weekend going? Have you had a good day today, Cat? I I was on the tank. Come back down. Okay, there we go. Fifth time's a charm. It was going. It was going well. There, there, it's okay. The Winnie's in... Oh, hang on. I can't pause. I'm glad I didn't choose permadeath mode, because that would just been annoying and I probably would have just said, nope, this game ain't worth it. Okay. Nothing too special, that's fine. Uh, health, teamwork, teamwork it is. Good. No. Ah. Okay, still oh, I forgot you had little, uh, 40. Little we need. Oh wait, 40 AP. Uh, Those things are cute. So I need compatibility 30. Okay, sure, why not? Whatever. Don't move. It'll be fine. Or 
Bruce. Where does this lead? Ah, free item. Free stuff. Yeah, it's more Bella Rotten too. She just went to the groomers today, so I ended up going to bed late. I woke up late again. But I was able to finish up Bulletstorm, so what I intended to do today was actually completed. Okay. Hell yeah. I'll take that. Now when am I going to get this last element? Because Per said I should be towards the end of the game. When I finish this, this will... Uh, down. Five, nice. Actually, I don't even think okay. I posted her, the I picture of her resting after she got back home in my Discord. I need to fix that. There you go. That wasn't too bad this time. Actually, it wasn't all that bad. Thankfully. Just come closer and complete it. Very good. Too many drags. Yes. Spell learned hailstorm creates a trap in the form of Okay, next cloud time don't place but when do it near platforms. Is already activated. Okay. By I don't it. need to hear the headlines. I mean, we did finish. Uh, that's probably a good time to call it anyway. Uh, it'll, when enemy steps into it, a ferocious hailstorm appears to dam deal damage over time. Neat. Okay, what do you got? Chance to blind enemy, chance to cause fear. That freeze, chance to slow the enemy, chance to inflict frost. Okay, how many more of these do I have to climb up? Spells deal more damage. Chance to curse the enemy with snow cloud once the enemy is cursed, there's a chance to slow nearby enemies. Oh. Huh. Why not? I don't think there was really a point in sliding down, just falling, because I don't think fall damage is actually a thing here. Okay, that looks fun. Let's do that. I need to buy more potions. That should do it. Any changes in these rooms? Probably not. Book about love potions. I think she's trying to flirt with me. Shop. Right. I have I have no monies. Uh Parthex Trust okay. That's right, come over here. Come over here. There we go. Screw you. That was easy.
Wait, is... Oh, okay, so that was the bear. Okay. That's to get back. Fair enough. Oh, I see. That was an arrow that shot me. Okay, fair enough. Once you get the handle of how those platforms work, it's actually not that bad. Basically just a straightforward path, really. Okay. No, it doesn't work. No, this probably needs a special Kalu to unlock it. Any ideas? It's like... For Shikia Lake, an underground Griot temple, I can feel a connection with the remote source. Is it easy to feel this type of thing? You get used to it. Yes, I can feel the source of this switch if I approach it. Okay, go see if you can find anything else. Retrace your steps. I probably need to go down instead of up. And that's probably why this pathway exists, so I can retrace faster. The source of the switch is there. Knew it. And you're the one holding the switch. Eh, damn it. I did it again. Oh well. I got a good amount of them in the first place, I suppose, so I can't complain too much.
69. Nice. Wait, that wasn't it? Okay, I, I think I know where I need to go then. I need to go up and then down. Oh, okay, so that's... Okay, fair enough. And kill pretty much all of you in one hit. Source of the switch is there. Of course I have to backtrack. Stay have enough AP. I barely even have to really think too much about what I have to put really any effort at all in this game. It, it's very simplistic. What are you? Stamina, teamwork, teamwork. There's a new kid who went to see the boss. He has the potential to climb up in here. Intruders. I guess if we ask nicely, you won't. You will not use this switch. Probably not, but doesn't mean we can't take it by force. I mean, that that's basically the ultimate thing in this game. Just take everything you want by force. It doesn't really matter as long as you survive, right? Activate the switch before leaving the area. Okay. Bella's dreaming. It's adorable. Let me guess, I gotta walk all the way back. Because of course I do. Yeah, puppy dreams. She is a cutie. She's my little baby. Another one of you. Okay. Yeah, that should be close enough.
Boop. Item there. HP, stamina, AP it is. Teleport. I'm just gonna skip that fight. Oopsie. I'm just gonna skip by those fights. Doesn't seem any real reason to fight them. I think I already have one of those. Yeah, I already have that. gonna tell me this is the fight so I'll just save preemptively oh eh, guess not huh he's been climbing as long as us and he's not even tired what motivation or there's some secret elevator that he's using that we don't know about I'm pretty sure there's some kind of elevator, we just don't know about it. I mean, technically, we're using elevators, but that's that was my point. It, it's fine. So many people just making death sounds at the same time, that's amazing. I love it. Come back down. Oh, you, you don't come down, do you? Okay, got it. And I'll come up to you. See? Uh, I can be smart.
Oh, and, and it's snowing, and I can only imagine freezing rain. That that's great. I, I love freezing rain. Seriously, how high is how high does this go? Yeah, I was expecting I am over there. Okay, that's fine. It's not like these traps actually do any real damage to me in the first place. They're just slight inconveniences. Okay, nothing there. Got it. You felt his orionic vibration. Okay, yep, it's coming up. Uh, I need items. AP. There we go. Uh, sign. Use. There we go. Okay. Better save too, just in case. Deactivated. I couldn't unblock this one. If only. It it only relaxed to another Kalu. Seriously? Oh, we may have a cutscene. You've earned your place among the Drabas, and you have earned the right to fly with a Wakoka, go and join your brothers in the skies of war. It is an honor, your majesty. I will fight and give my life to take back our land from the Bojas. One day there will be enough to, enough of us to cover the sky. Then we will fight our pro, on our promised land, Ka Boja. Okay, so let me guess. You're the next leader I have to worry about. But in the meantime, I will take care of my guests. You mean, you'll be taken care of by your guests? What an aggressive Orion. Your Orion can move us? Oh, interesting. The King of Zama seems to have enough Orionic pillars to stand up to me. You know who I am? Enzo and Kiri Kori Odin, the exiled King and Queen of Zama. I heard you have fought in prestigious battles. You could say that I've been waiting for you. So we'll skip this part where we ask you to go back. We will end the Draba's barbarity here and now. Tss. Royalty of Zama, I have a proposition for you. I propose to spare your people if you offer the Drabas what you have offered to the Bojas. I don't know what you're talking about. But the King of Zama doesn't cooperate with those who threaten his people. I see, but you're really just a pawn in the Queen of Boja's hand. Careful. 
You are no longer any interest. I will avenge the deaths of Sopir and Torop on this sacred mountain. You have chosen the wrong side. Heir of Arkeron, you who deal with the Draba barbarians, know that we are the result of your people's sins. How many generations of people, peaceful Wanagas, have been killed for no reason by the Bojas? I'm the legacy of this bloodline who reclaims justice. It it seems that the Orionics have overtaken Enzo, but it's on another level. It seems that he can combine many Orions at the same time. Orionic combinations? No, it's more complicated. It's like it is in a permanent state of Orionic overtaking. I don't know what effect it will have in combat, but it would be better th to be cautious. Watch what happens when we embody the hatred of a thousand souls in the Great Veil. Vale. Well, this seems fun. You have a lot of health. There we go. Right on top of you. Couple of these will kill you. Goodbye. What did Boja promise you? Tell me. A 70 inch plasma screen TV with Netflix. Cutscenes are definitely impressive. We succeeded. With this victory, we will end the years of conflict between Kawanaga and Kaboja. I doubt it. I haven't unlocked my fourth pillar. So, there, there's more to this. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Enzo and Irni. How ironic.
You have been driven off your throne by imposters, and now you behave like mercenaries who drive out other kings. You don't know anything about our history. If we form an alliance with the Boja, it's just to protect Zama from the evils like you. <laughs> Who are you laughing at? I'm laughing because I'm imagining the reaction to your Zama allies when they find out the truth. Do you want to know the reason for your exile? It's Queen Dakina who sent the Garba Evo to take over the Zama. Those are lies at the door of the Great Vale and are not worthy of a great warrior like you, Sindun Darba. The evidence is there and obvious. Look at your equipment. You may have never noticed, but you are the only ones who use Orionite in the endless ways in this endless way for your equipment. More than money, the Orionite is a spirit of war, especially those... especially for the largest army in the world who launches a mission for global geopolitical conquest. All the Orionites deplete after being used for a long time. However, well before the Twilight of Blood, the Hekimas of the Boja continent knew to create Weapons that the Orionite can never deplete. Weapons like your spear, King Azama, or like the sword of Prince R.K. Ron. You never had to exchange the Orionite for your spear, did you? I don't know how, but Queen Dakina learned that this knowledge still existed in a very distant city, Zama. So she armed this. The Garba Evo with a troop of mercenary Bojas to take your city and supply the the Samuja perfectly for her army. It can't be true. A few months ago, Boja was dependent on Esau for Orionite, but they suddenly stopped their orders while intensifying their fighting with the north. Why? A group of Esau's nobles and Boja corporate generals had set up a network against the Orionites. We solved this problem, Zama had nothing to do with it. So why does your army now have this equipment that doesn't deplete the Orionites? Huh. Enzo, you're going to believe these liars? There's got to be another explanation. Mother would never do such a thing. <laughs> you can tell stories, but eventually you'll see the truth. King of Zama, you who said... You do not form alliances with those who threaten your people. I would keep an eye out in the Great Veil. Vale. I can't wait to see how you're going to handle this situation. Enzo, what are we doing? For now, let's go back to the city of Wanaga. This doesn't actually surprise me if the Queen is actually the one causing all of this. So my best allies in this war, she basically sent me to defeat. It's good, you can quickly go back down there. Okay, I think I go this way? Yeah, pretty sure I go this way. You need to relax. I'm sure this Sundane was lying.
Why would the queen be so nice if she really did send the Garba? So now we're going to confront her and uh, probably get thrown in jail. I, I can totally see myself getting thrown in jail now. You're finally here. I hear you, Dramin. Why did you leave our army without a general in the Western Continent? I'm sorry, but I had good reasons, Mother. We found information about a spy from Sindhu, and we followed him and have defeated the Darbus Druba's king. You three, you defeated the Flying Lion without backup? I must admit, we almost died there. I see. And you, King Azama, why this look when you have won such a decisive victory? Queen of Boja, did you send Nagarba Evo to lead a coup d'etat in Zama? Sindun has accused us of causing the coup d'etat in order to take over Zama Umoja, but obviously it's a lie, right, Mother? Mother? Yeah, she totally did it. That's correct. I gave an order to Nagarba Evo to take the city of Zama. Impossible. No. You. Everything that's happened, it's because of you? Yep. Ambush. Drop your weapon, King Azama. Everyone calm down. Why? Why did you do this? Why have you attacked us? Zama hasn't hurt anyone. I wish you hadn't found out this way. I thought that if you look a little more... If you... If you... That's supposed to be if you took a little more time to understand the benefits of the Awakening Plan, you would understand better. But why? Oh, grammar. Stop. If you want to know why, try to answer these questions. If I learned about the existence of the Zama Umoja, how long would it take for someone like Sindin to learn about it too? Imagine the consequences for the global Orion if the Drumbas or even the Koros had laid hands on such a power before me. What would have happened to people of Zama if it was Ilorin Karu who attacked you? Why not try diplomacy? The Zamanians would have understood. We tried. For years we have negotiated with Zama. I have sent several offers to your father, Nabi Kori Odin. He always refused to form an alliance. Even when I learned of his death, I wanted to get in touch with you, Prince Zama. The Zama elders wouldn't let me. But in any case, with the limited vision of the world that you have, would you have understood the issues? That's why I thought. Hot Mama, why'd you betray us? Uh, believe it or not, attacking your city was one of the hardest decisions I ever had to make. If I chose between your city and the world's future, it's a weight of my legacy I've made this choice. You can take Zama back. The Hikimas of Zama are under my protection on the continent of Bawanga. No harm shall be done as long as you don't object to my awakening plan. You dare take my people hostage? I don't expect you to understand, but I can promise you that we are being good to them. Boja will respect this part of our alliance. You will be protected against any other outside aggression from other tribes. So what do you say? What do I say? This is an alliance. This is a colonization. I will not let you crush my people without doing anything. I hope that is what... I hope that with what you have experienced, you have developed a broader outlook. But apparently you are still the reckless and emotional king and queen I have that I banished. And now you insult us after all that you've done to us? I refuse your alliance. Prepare to fight. Yep, totally called it. No, Enzo, she's right. Ernie? You say yourself, the problem is not getting Zama back, but knowing what we would do next. The truth is that we don't have anything better to suggest for Zama's survival. This alliance with Boja at least gives us perspective. Even if we have to sacrifice our freedom for a while, let's stop fighting. Let's go home and deal with our people. 
They need us. Our duty is more important than our pride. I see. Mother, I'm deeply disappointed. When I decided to support you, I thought we were above this kind of practice. One day, when you sit on the Boja throne, you will understand. For now, please observe and learn. Dismayed by the new betrayal, Enzo and Irni leave the Buanga Palace. Hearts lifted to the brim with frustration, the Coriodans take ship for Zama, accompanied by the young Salarius Griots. The king and queen Zama were finally back home, but it was not what they had hoped for. As Drakina Akiran had said, there were no more Hikimas in the city. Each Zamanian found themselves without parent, sibling, or a friend. The people were traumatized in need of hope. Enzo and Irni had to help them get Zama back on its feet. Every household that recovered filled people's heart with courage and faith in the future. Several days passed, and even the pain was still intense. Zama slowly came back to life. The young king and queen put on brave face for the people, but in privacy of the royal garden, their hearts were sore. I mean, could you blame them? They were basically tricked this whole time. Every solution they could come up with saved the Hikimas, ended up with them having to face a harsh reality. Zamba was simply too weak to face the Bojas. This weakness was largely due to ignorance. Zamba had to become strong, but first they had to understand the origins of its current weakness. Why were their ancestors not prepared to face the outside world? Why was there such ignorance about the global Orion in the conflicts of Unkungu Damu? The royal couple examined all the Kalus containing the ancestral knowledge of the Koryodans. If Zama had mastered the secret of the eternal Emoju, then somewhere in its past, its current lack of strength had been deliberate choice, but for what reasons? Unfortunately, their research remains fruitless. None of the ancient kings mentioned the global Orion or the inter-tribal conflicts of the world. Only fragments of information from the Navi Kori Odin Enza's father mention a conflict with other overseas, but always in incomplete fashion. Without losing hope, they turned to the elders to dig a little deeper. Their meeting didn't result in any satisfactory answers. Only King Nabi knew what had happened, therefore they had to find a way of talking directly to the spirit of the deceased king. Enzo and Irni had only one choice, the sacred Nagando, a very dangerous ritual that would allow the King of Zama to communicate directly with his ancestors. Braving the warnings of the elders and dignitaries, they headed for the shrine of the Koryodans. Their only hope lay in this. The Shrine of the Koryodans, I remember the last time we came here. At that time, we just had to undergo the Nagondo Trials so we could receive the blessings of our ancestors. When I think of what we've gone through since, the Nagondo for our marriage was a walk in the park. Now that you mention it, it's certainly true. Well, you may look... May as well look at the funny side of things. Let's go inside the shrine right in front of us.
Okay, why not? I'm betting this is probably where I get the last pillar. We should be able to get down with this. Aren't you coming? Wait, come look at this. What have you found? The Griot said that the Shrine of the Coriodans was been made by Zama's first Hecamas, right? Yeah, why? All these murals seem to be telling us something that we never noticed before. What's wrong? I was here with an elder sometime before the coronation. He explained the meaning of this wall painting. The spiral represents the line of the Coriodans' kings, starting with Nassar, the founder of Zama, in the middle. Each royal era has a specific color representing whether the king's reign was glorious or filled with chaos. As you can see, Zama was born out of chaos. I understand better now, but wait. The last part of the spiral represents your area. Why is it already colored red for chaos? My father, King Nabi Kori Odin, had the sort of had the start of my era painted at some time the same time as his, just before his death. I've lived for a long time with the impression that he predicted I'd make a bad king. You can understand now why I was so angry afterwards after our exile. Given everything we've discovered, I think there's another explanation. Let's stay positive. Yes, no doubt. We should continue to figure out these paintings. I'm sure we'll find more things in them to help us understand. Wait, are, are you serious? The teleport was just like... I could have j literally jumped down from that? The old Griot used to tell us that Zob was founded by the those who fled the Red Veil. This picture looks like the Kaboja continent and... Nkungu Damu, the Twilight of Blood, the genocide which bound the tribes in hatred is the Red Veil. So the Zamanians came from the Kaboja, but nobody mentioned our tribe in relation to the Twilight of Blood. Why is that? I don't know, but the mural tells us clearly that our ancestors left Kaboja to escape the Twilight of Blood. I don't understand this picture, but it seems like something major happened to them during the journey before they got to Zama. Zama went through the Twilight of Blood. I understand why Nasser... Nasser, the Founder's era, was seen as chaotic, but why are we mentioned nowhere in all in history? We'll surely find out more as we go on. This is the most mysterious of all. Even Zama's elders don't know what it's supposed to mean. It seems to have a link with your spear. A theory. From what we know, it belonged to Nassar the Founder. Let's hope my father can give us an answer. Let's keep going. Thomas Gria told me that bringing back a ghost from the veil is risky. Am I ready? Hello, Sugar here. Thank you for watching part 18 of Orion. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tomorrow, a bit more of the same. So, look forward to that. Uh, special announcement, I want to wish happy birthday to Bouncy Kelly, who is celebrating her birthday as of yesterday, uh, today as of the recording. Um, I was a bit behind on checking my log of birthdays and didn't realize it was the 29th already so happy birthday to you and until then uh this is shigar signing off y'all stay safe take care and i will see you all tomorrow